Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Crockett Creek Homebrews. Thank you for joining me tonight. It is time for another one year tasting. And tonight, this is one of my staple brews from back in the day. I'm excited to share this one with you and I hope you enjoy it along the way. It has been one year since we bottled lemon lime wine. I love lemon lime wine. This was a creation that I made a couple years ago and I said it tasted a lot like hard lemonade or Sprite. It has been a staple in my wine cabinet ever since. It is a phenomenal crisp, acidic, dry wine. It's absolutely wonderful. Straight out of the fermenter. I have never had any problems fermenting this brew. I have never had any problems with the taste of this brew. It's always been spot on, which makes me even more excited to try it tonight. So let's go ahead and open the bottle and we will let it aerate while we go over the recipe. This used to be a brew that I always had going. No matter what it was I was making, alongside it I had lemon lime wine going as well. Since then, since I moved, I've moved a couple times since then, I've switched more into meads and mellow mills, in particular Viking's blood. But that doesn't say anything about lemon lime wine. It is still a fantastic brew. Not much of a pop on this one. Oh. That being said, that is a smell I have not smelled in a long time. Let's take our sample glass here and do a little pour. Okay, as you can see, it is very clear with a slight yellow hay tint to it and a slight bit of cloudiness, something you would attribute to lemonade, perhaps. I remember this brew always being a bit hazy, not cloudy like you would see with particulates, but a touch hazy. It never bothered me. All the lemon juice I've ever used or the lime juice I've ever used has always been a bit hazy. But I would check on the bottle every now and then and it was always very, very clear. As you can see, it's very crystal, crystal yellow, almost a quartz-like color. Very nice color. Let's let that sit for a second in the open air while we go over the recipe. This recipe is on my channel. It's one of the videos I made a couple years ago. It's a one gallon recipe. I used three lemons cut into thin slices, rinds, pulp, everything. Just cut up the lemons, seeds and all, throw it in there. Three limes cut into thin slices. Three cups of sugar that's 22 and a half ounces, 25 raisins, fill to one gallon of water 
or add one gallon of water. And looks like I used one teaspoon of bread yeast. I don't believe this particular batch I used bread yeast. This is one year old. At that point, I think I started to stray away from bread yeast. Let me check the ABV on this. Nine and a half. I could have used bread yeast. Nowadays, even though bread yeast is acceptable, it certainly works for making home brews. It leaves a flavor to be desired. It tastes somewhat bready for me at least, especially young. Very, very bready, sourdough-like. And I've also noticed they don't clear very well, or at least very quickly. Hmm. That makes me even more intrigued if I used bread yeast in this particular batch. I've made quite a few batches of lemon lime wine, and I know that I've used wine yeast. I've used K11-116. Uh, I've used 71B. Hmm. Interesting. I do have some notes on here. Um, in one batch, I de-seeded and juiced the limes and lemons, and then added the rinds and everything. So I just juiced them first. This is definitely one of the first brews I made. And I have on here, it tastes amazing, carbonated. I've made quite a few batches quite a few variations of this particular recipe. All of them have turned out remarkable. And that's the great thing about homebrewing. You can take a recipe and adapt it to whatever you feel like. I could take this recipe and amp it up to 15% alcohol if I wanted. In fact, I'll probably do that here soon in an upcoming brew. You could make this into a cider and lower it down to somewhere around five, three and a half. You can take this recipe and make it your own creation. So let's go ahead and smell it. Very acidic, very lemon juice-esque but right in there alongside it, holding its hand, is the lime. It almost smells like a margarita. The lemon, the lime, they're right there together. It has that coastal, I'm not sure how to describe the smell. Something you would have on the beach. I'm almost getting notes of cinnamon on the end, just ever so slightly. Let's do a short sip. Ooh, that's crisp. Very crisp. Very dry. Just like I remember it. I'm a big fan of dry wines. I love pulling out the flavors without the sugar. I love identifying fruits without their sugars, cherries, blackberries, peaches, whatever. Without their sugars, with just the essence of the fruit and their oils, you get such a unique flavor. That's why I've sort of switched over to making Mellow Mel meads. They are incredible tasting. The smoky, sweet, 
mixed with the fruit. It is undescribable, the, the flavor you get in Mellow Mills. I absolutely love them. I do have to warn you, this wine will make you pucker. It will fill up your cheeks with the tannins. But I can tell I added raisins to this because the tannins stay in your mouth and formulate into the flavor profile. This is still extremely straightforward. It's lemon, lime. It's very slightly effervescent. I don't know if you can see, there's a few bubbles in the bottom of this glass. It's not sparkling by any means. That is so much more mellowed out. It doesn't make you throw your head back and think, oh, that's lemon. Wow, that tastes almost like a margarita on the rocks. Without that agave flavor of the tequila. It's kind of like margarita mix without the tequila. And without sugar. That is absolutely wonderful makes me miss the days I made this all the time. This is really, especially at nine and a half percent, a spring and summer beverage. This is great to have sitting out on a slightly warm day, sipping on this under the trees. This is great. I love this wine. I wish I had more bottles of this that are turning one year old. I would save several of them to have during the spring and summer months. It's a shame this is the last one, but it makes me look forward to those spring and summer days. So if y'all have not tried my lemon lime wine, please do. I do not think you will be disappointed at all. I have always loved this recipe. It's so simple to make, but it's something that not everyone would think of because of the harshness and acidity. If you love dry wines, especially, if you love lemon and lime, margaritas, Sprite, this is certainly a recipe you should try. I'm going to sit here and enjoy the rest of this class. We will see you on the next video.